How are you guys? Good. 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 So what'd you bring us today? The second skull cap can be worn under any sports helmet, like football, hockey, or lacrosse. Ooh. The birth of Second Skull was inspired by my son's head injury five years ago. I saw him hit his head hard on the concrete. I realized that in a split second, our lives could change. That's where the light bulb went off. I'm going to add protection to skull caps and bring it home. Millions of athletes suffer head injuries every year. Federico wants to lower that number with the Second Skull. Material this thin doesn't look like it'll protect you against much, so we gotta see how it works and then hit it hard. It's linear impact. Our materials absorb the impact and don't let that force or object go through and hit the other side of the material. Second Skull uses XRD urethane molecules to dissipate impact forces. When struck hard enough, the specially formulated molecules in the foam instantly harden. This is how it protects you without losing its shape. A moment later, the memory foam passes back down through the impact threshold and the molecules relax, returning the material to the same breathable and soft feel as before. So this padding has some sort of magical properties. I want to see it work. You know, give it a go. This is just regular foam you'd find inside of a helmet. And this is the magical yellow foam. We have a, a steel ball bearing here. We're gonna actually just drop it on the wood table. So I'm gonna say about here, right? Okay. Now we're gonna go over here. This is the standard helmet foam. Okay. It's bouncy. So it's bouncy, but we didn't hear the thud. Now we come over here. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> what? So that's the impact absorption technology at work. <laughs> that is there cool. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's, you're not compressing just in that area. It's spreading that little Yeah, but it's dispersing the impact. We need to get some real world testing. So let's get some helmets involved. Yeah, we got to get a dummy and like give it a beating. In baseball, pitch speeds have been increasing from little leagues to the pros, with some pitchers now throwing over 100 miles per hour. With higher speeds comes a higher risk of head injury for all players. First, Brian and I are setting a baseline test by launching baseballs at a test dummy wearing only a helmet. We were dropping marbles in the lab, now we get to basically pelt this guy with gotcha. baseballs. What's his name? Uh, Mark. Mark, all right. Yeah, so no, Mark relation. The dummy. No, no relation. No relation. None to, whatsoever. No. We also brought along some of these shockwave stickers, and basically these stickers can measure the amount of G-forces in item Cs. The sticker instantly measures the G-force, or weight, of the impact. We're starting with a sticker that has a 50 G threshold. If the impact is greater than 50 Gs, a red line will appear. For comparison, a standard punch in the boxing ring is about 20 Gs. Baseball impacts are higher. A 50 G impact could give a player a concussion. Okay, he's ready for battle. I've got this dial set to pitch at 70 miles per hour. Let's see what Mark can take. Ah, oh, it was a good, solid hit. Right on the side of the helmet. Oh yeah, it's red. So why don't we stick a new sticker on there, put the second skull over top, and try the same thing and see what the results are. All right. Okay, good to go. Oh yeah, that was oh. a good one. There it is. All right, here it is. Nothing. Nothing? I didn't think that was gonna work. <laughs> Second Skull protected it well enough for us to say the full 50 Gs weren't felt. That's a good result. So let's turn up the dial to 80 miles per hour. That's about the max a 17-year-old can pitch. Don't try this on the diamond. Let's see if we can break it. Oh! Nice! That was a solid hit. It worked! We're increasing the speed again to 90 miles per hour. That's almost 30% faster than our first pitch, the average speed of a pro pitcher. Let's see if we can find Second Skull's breaking point. Let's do it! Oh, oh. Yeah, that was a good one. It's uh, totally red. Brooke, that's like a 25% reduction in the impact. That could seriously help someone. I think with this last test, they are surprised that this thin material actually protects a lot. I am feeling good. 